Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Monday's trading session, 14th of November 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher as to uh, which way uh, this market is headed. As always, uh, the end of day recap. Uh, with regards to the FTSE, DAX, CAC, Euro stocks predominantly, and uh, we'll certainly uh, see exactly where the uh, US session is headed as well. In terms of fundamentals, let's cover them first and foremost, folks. Okay, so if I bring up my um, data here, so overnight it was really the major market mover, and that certainly triggered the gap higher. Okay, we had the Asian markets, we had the Nikkei up 1.7% on the back of stronger GDP data. Okay, and Japanese GDP certainly coming out stronger than expected. Also, the um, the actual uh, BOJ certainly sounded uh, very dovish in terms of uh, being uh, providing easy monetary policy going forward. And also, the US dollar certainly is helping as well with the US dollar USDJPY breaking the 108 level. If I bring up the uh, USDJPY chart for you, let's just bring this up, folks. You can see the four hour chart is certainly breaking and uh, certainly testing new highs. You can see that we've broken out the resistance at 107.5, we broke out resistance at 104.2. So certainly very, very impressive. I mean, the next resistance really in the USD JPY can be seen at 109, 112, 110. So certainly looking bullish. And as we all know, USD JPY generally goes higher. It does help US equities higher as well. So certainly a bullish slant and a bullish bias there. Okay, so certainly bear that. Uh, in mind in terms of helping the Nikkei. If I bring up the chart of Nikkei as well, give you an insight on the Nikkei daily, you can see the Nikkei daily certainly uh, bursting higher as well. Okay, so the USD JPY continues its ascent, so will the USD, well, with the Nikkei, sorry, uh, testing this 17,000 or 18,000 level. If you break 18,000, then then it really is bullish. I mean, the next potential level is 19,000. So again, watch out. You do have resistance at 18,500. So certainly um, sky's the limit here with regards to the the Nikkei and uh, obviously the uh, debauchery of the yen certainly is helping equities to a large extent. Talking about debauchery, we also have Euro USD being debauched as well, along with the GBP USD trade. So given the fact that we have the uh, uh, the actual uh, percentage um, in terms of favor of a rate hike, uh, the latest article for Fast FT, Financial Times, odds of uh, December rate rise jumped to 92%. So that's why you're seeing the crush uh, of uh, the Euro USD. So you're certainly seeing the Euro being crushed versus the dollar. Okay, so certainly seeing uh, immense weakness. Currently testing this 107 support level, okay, 107. If 107 breaks, then you're breaking, you're bringing into play 106. So again, uh, a weaker euro, uh, stronger euro dollar, is actually, uh, uh, sorry, a weaker euro dollar is actually uh, indicating weakness in the euro, and weakness in the euro generally helps exports, okay. And that's why you're seeing European equities rise today as well. Okay, so you have J Japanese GDP stronger than expected, the Nikkei certainly uh, thrusting higher on the back of a weaker JPY. OK, now the next um, uh, uh, catalyst for the uh, move higher was the uh, the actual Chinese data. Chinese data actually came in, OK, slightly missed the mark, but not as bad as everybody expected. OK, so again, coming in in line, more or less, you had um, in uh, retail sales at 10 percent expected was 10.7. You had industrial production at 6.1 expected was 6.2. So not too bad. OK, not too bad. So uh, especially with the uh, the BOJ uh, Corolla speech as well, certainly dovish. Obviously, uh, Japanese GDP certainly coming in stronger than as well. So certainly helping. OK, then we had industrial production out of the Eurozone coming in at, uh, slightly better than expected. Uh, forecast was minus 1%, came in at minus 0.8%. OK, so slightly better than expected. Now, we did have the, the actual um, earthquake in New Zealand overnight. So again, that was a negative bias. Uh, hence the reason why you're seeing the Aussie and the Kiwi certainly under pressure today. To a large extent because obviously going forward in terms of growth and the budget and obviously interest rates may have to uh, may have to move lower in, in New Zealand as well so again certainly something to consider okay now that really was a summation uh, in terms of the uh, the actual market now the FTSE was helped by uh, if I can recollect William Hinn and, and Longville and uh, Taylor Wimpy as well uh, the automakers were certainly helped by the potential merger or talk of merger between Audi and China okay so again interesting 
Uh, if I've missed anything, not really. I think that really is a summation of fundamentals. So let's look at the technicals now and let's see exactly where we uh, stand. Now, the German DAX on a daily chart certainly is stuck at that 10,800 level. Okay, even with this weaker euro still failing to move higher, which is a slight cause for concern. Okay, but nothing tell well, nothing stopping the German DAX from certainly breaking higher. So bear that in mind. So if you go over to the weekly chart, the German DAX, this really is the last bastion of resistance. Once we break this, and we have been hitting this level multiple occasions now. And the last catalyst really was a dip in the euro. A dip in the euro down to 107 certainly does allow the German DAX to break out to 11,500 and 11,800. Now, bear in mind that the US markets have already broken out. Okay, certainly already very, very bullish. And also the NASDAQ is now coming into support as well. So certainly is a very strong argument for the German DAX to break that level. Okay, so for those that are short, just be careful. That's all I would say. Okay, tight stop loss. And you certainly are looking at a potential possibility with the euro continuing to decline as well. Obviously, with this Donald Trump reflation trade, you have a stronger uh, euro, stronger uh, dollar versus the euro. So again, you are looking at euro dollar moving lower, and euro dollar moving lower really is the uh, the the ideal um, stimulus trade with the ECB having uh, without having the ECB having to even do, do do QE. So just bear that in mind. I mean, really, that's one of the reasons why they're stalling is because it certainly seems that the uh, the focus was on the Fed to raise rates and therefore the uh, that kept the uh, ECB. Um, obviously, they could save their bullets for another day. And uh, now Mr. Trump has come along and he's provided them with another catalyst. So, interesting. Okay, interesting scenario. Mr. Draghi, certainly wait and see. And uh, Mr. Trump is doing all, of, all the work for him by sending the euro down versus the dollar. Okay, so again, a stimulus trade, weaker euro, stronger exports. Okay. Let's go to the smaller time frame, 60 minute chart, the German DAX. You are seeing resistance being held at 10,770 and 10,800. Again, that, that psychological level certainly seems to, to hurt. And as you can see why, it's the weekly chart, 10,800. We've hit once, twice, thrice, and now it's uh, quadruple. Okay, so again, let's just see if we can succeed here. So 60 minute chart certainly is, uh, is looking uh, weak. 10 minute chart on the German DAX. We close the gap, okay, so we certainly gapped higher, we double topped, okay, and certainly close the gap. You do have previous, obviously, um, resistance equals support in this region here, so I'm certainly looking for support to hold at the uh, 10,670 down to 10,640 level on the uh, on the uh, German uh, DAX, so bear that in mind, okay, folks, German DAX looking for that support to hold. Let's move on to the uh, next potential uh, index now, which is a CAC 40. Okay, daily chart the CAC 40, we certainly seem to be holding. Uh, certainly holding the key resistance at 4600, so failing to get past 4600, folks. Okay, certainly stalling there. 60 minute chart, we have put in the lower high, so again, slight cause for concern, bear that in mind. And the next 10 minute chart, you are looking at potential gap fill closing and holding at 4490. If 4490 breaks, then you have support around the uh, 4480 level, so watch out. Okay, certainly watch out. Uh, having said that, we failed to make a new high, so again, another cause for concern. So just bear that in mind on the French CAC, so it's looking more weaker than the DAX. But again, if the euro continues to decline, there's certain things stopping the, uh, the the CAC from breaking out. Okay, FTSE 100, inside bar, we hit a pivot high of 4815 before we actually retrace. We certainly was an inside bar, the red candle, and therefore remained subdued. Okay, 60 minute chart, the FTSE at the moment, we certainly have held previous support equals resistance at the uh, 4800 level. We've so subsequently reversed. Okay, now we certainly seem to be making a base here now. Okay, if I just connect this again, connect this across. Okay, so certainly building a base here. And looking to propel higher again back up to that 6800 level. And I'll explain the reason why. One of the main predominant reasons is the fact that the dollar certainly is into resistance now, okay? Okay, so no lower low. Okay, no lower low. We've actually made higher lows and higher highs now going into the close. So again, it'll be interesting to see whether we can follow through and go back up to 48790 and test that to double top. At uh, 6815. So 6815 will be key, key and uh, in terms of the next potential move. So watch out for 6815. If you break that, then obviously you are looking at the next resistance at 6850. So FTSE, from my perspective and my understanding, certainly is uh, certainly is prime to move higher, okay, especially with the dollar obviously being into resistance as well. So just bear that in mind. Okay. Okay, understand, folks. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, FTSE 100. Let's look at the last but not least, Euro stocks. Let's see exactly where we are. Now, I'll just confirm that I am actually long the Euro stocks, so bear that in mind. 
Uh, let's just bring up the euro stocks here. Okay, let's see if I can locate it first. Okay, here we go. Euro stocks, a daily chart at the moment. Okay, so after that topping tail at 3,100, it's the question of where we're currently in no man's land in the daily chart. Certainly, uh, given the fact that we have a weaker euro back to 1.07, an argument can be made that we are looking to break higher, okay? 60-minute chart, again, no man's land. Uh, you can argue, One could argue that you made a lower high. Again, it's trading sideways, but my understanding is the benefit of a weaker euro, you are looking at a move higher on the euro stocks, okay? So again, given the fact that we closed the gap, technical uh, support level was certainly held at 3030 and the market subsequently rallied ever since. So again, watch out, okay? Again, weaker euro, from my understanding, weaker euro, and you now have commodities potentially coming into support. Should certainly argue for a move higher on the uh, euro stocks, okay? That's my understanding at present. Okay, so that certainly seems to be a summation. Now let's look over to the uh, US uh, markets and let's see exactly where we're positioned there. Let's bring up the daily chart. Daily chart, certainly a, a topping tail consolidation. It's whether or not this reflation trade can continue to carry on. The next resistance you did have was well, at 2193. Whether or not we can sustain this move and continue this move higher, that's the question. 60 minute chart on the uh, SP 500 at the moment. We certainly seem to be uh, trading, uh, uh, trading sideways more or less. Uh, holding support at 2150, hitting resistance at 2180. Okay. So just bear that in mind. Uh, the move certainly still seems to be up, or you are looking to be exhausted here now, especially with the euro dollar obviously moving lower and making the dollar expensive. It certainly is hurting the uh, the chances of uh, of the uh, U.S. market certainly pushing higher. So it'll be interesting to keep observing here and seeing the potential next move. The Nasdaq has been flushed. It certainly is getting flushed again. If I just go back to the Nasdaq here, let's bring up the Nasdaq. I have that here. There we go, Nasdaq. Okay, so Nasdaq itself certainly is being flushed. Certainly is testing the lows on the 60-minute chart. We certainly have put in a bottoming tail out to pivot S1. Okay, the unfilled gap remains open at 4660. So it'll be interesting to see if we can close that. Given stronger Japanese GDP, given the USD JPY move, it's given Chinese data as well. It seems very unlikely that we will. But double bottom certainly is expected to hold. So that certainly will be interesting. Okay, so I think that's a good summation then with regards to the markets, folks. Again, US markets will dictate. Okay, keep an eye on that 4660 gap. On that note, wish you uh, well for the remainder of the day and wish you uh, success in tomorrow's trading. Please be sure to visit cfds.com and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.